Hi! Ako nga pala si Teacher Norman at isa akong Mathematics Teacher from Talam High School, Ganda ko pang Panga. And, bakit nga ba naisip ang gumawa ng mga video lessons? Dahil pandemic ngayon is, naisip ko lang isang maganda way to para makatulong sa mga sadyante, lalong lalo sa mga batang gusto matuto pero hirap. So, kung sa tingin mo isa ka, sa mga ito is kindly like, subscribe, and click the notification bell para like kayo updated sa mga videos natin. Bago tayo mag-solve, syempre, kailangan natin malaman ano nga ba talaga ang Midline Theorem. So, ito yun. Midline Theorem. Ang definition niya is the segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half as long. So, para yun yung magiging formula natin to find the midline of a triangle. Tingnan pa natin ang mabuti. Ito yung given na figure natin, which is triangle ABC. And we have a midpoint of AB, which is D, and the midpoint of AC is E. So, magbigay tayo ng example para malaman natin kung ano ba talaga ang midline theorem. In a triangle GAD, R and E are the midpoints of GA and GD, respectively. So, ang midpoint daw ng GA is point R. Ibig sabihin, hinati ni point R si GA. Next, ang midpoint ng GD is point E. Same nung kanina. So, complete the following statements. Sabi niya, RE, yun yung midline natin, is equal to 1 half AD. Nanginiwala ba kayo na yung measurement ni RE is kalahati ni AD? So, yun ang sinasabi niya dito. RE is equal to the 1 half of AD. Next is GR is equal to AR. Sinabi ko nga kanina sa inyo, si line segment GA or GA is nahati siya sa point R. Hinahati ni point R again si GA. So, ang nangyari, GR is equal to AR. GE is equal to DE. GE is equal to DE. So, same nang nangyari sa number 2 natin. Hinati ni point E si GD. So, nagkaroon tayo ng GE is equal to DE. Example natin is in triangle WTC A and H are the midpoints of WT and WC respectively. So same as yung binigay ko kanina. WT, ang midpoint niya is A, WC and ang midpoint niya is H. So let's fill in the blanks. Number one is if AH, yung midline natin is equal to 20, then TC is equal to what? Tignan natin ha? Ang sabi na kanina, si AH daw is 1 half ng TC or yung base natin which is the line parallel to the midline. So, ibig sabihin daw, ang kalahati ni TC is equal to the AH. Kung babalik na rin natin, ganda siya. Ang doble ng AH is yun yung equivalent ng TC. So, sa tingin nyo, anong answer natin? The answer is... B, kasi dinoble natin si AH. Number 2 is if TC is equal to 18, then AH is equal to 1. Kabalik ka lang naman to. So, ang TC, ang base natin, ang given, which is 18. Diba ang sabi niya, ang equivalent ng AH or yung midline natin is kalahati ng base natin, which is TC. So, if you are going to solve this one, 18 divided by 2 is equal to 1. The answer is 9. So, ang midline natin is equivalent to 9. Number 3 is, if T8 is equal to 7, then TW is equal to what? So, di ba ang sabi natin, WT is, meron siyang midpoint which is A. So, ibig sabihin, hinati niya yung WT sa dalawa. So, ibig sabihin, TA and WA are congruent. Kung bubuin natin yan, 7 plus 7 or 7 times 2 is equal to 1. The answer is 14. 7 times 2 or 7 plus 7 is 
simple to order kasi nga congruent sila. Yan ang mainline theorem. Next is number 4. If WC is equal to 8, then WH is equal to 1. Parang kabalik na naman siya ng number 3 kanina. Ang kanina given is yung kalahate. This time given yung buo which is WC. Ang hinahanap yung kalahate which is WH. So same thing, same play. Ang answer natin is 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So ang WH natin is equal to 4 as same as the C. Eight. Number 5 is if WA is equal to 5 and HC is equal to 6, then PW plus CW is equal to 22. Ang sabi niya dyan, bakit? Tignan natin. So, WA is congruent to PA. Yan ang sabi ng big line theorem. Next, HC is equal to HW. Yan din ang sinabi ng big line theorem. Ibig sabihin, PW is equal to twice the WA. Yun ang given natin, which is 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So, meron na tayong TW. Next, doon naman tayo sa kabila, which is the CW. CW is equal to 2 times the HC. CW is equal to 2 times 6, given as 6. So, the answer is, CW is equal to 12. Kaya natin nakuha si 10 plus 12 is equal to 22. So, yun yung mga basic na dapat malaman sa midline theorem. So next is magi involve na tayo ng x. Yes, magi involve tayo ng x kahit ayaw natin. So let's move on. x ang involve natin or any variable pero madalas na ginagamit is si x talaga. Madalas gamitin talaga si x. So in a triangle M and T, O and H are midpoints of M, A and M, T respectively. So given natin, si O, H or the midline is equal to 2x minus 3. And our base, which is nt, is equal to x plus 9. So, gagamitin natin yung formula na diniscuss natin kanina. So, tingnan natin. Ang tanong is, how long is nt? Yung base ang hinahanap natin. So, ang magiging formula natin is OH, which is the midline, is equal to the one half of the base, which is nt. Ganun kasimple. Next step is, ilalagay lang natin yung mga value doon sa given. Sa OH, 2x is equal to 3. And sa nt, x plus 9. Next is, mag-cross multiplication tayo. Si 2 makukunta doon sa kabila, which is magiging ganito siya. So, 2 multiplied by the quantity of 2x minus 3 is equal to x plus 9. Next step, we will distribute 2 to 2x. The answer is, 2 times 2x is 4x. Next, 2 times negative 3 is equal to, the answer is negative 6. So the next step is, we bring down lang natin yan. So 4x minus 6 is equal to x plus 9. Tandaan natin yung steps para hindi tayo balito. At alam ko na alam niya na to. Next is, next step is we will combine like terms. Yung mga magkapangka, magsasamahin natin. And yung magkaparehong may x and yung constant lang. Ito yung ginagawa ko para hindi ako malito kung sino ba ililipat ko. Tingnan natin ha, si 4x trans x, magkapuha yan na merong variable x. So, iniisip mo kung sino ililipat mo. Ang ginagawa ko is yung mas maliit na value is nililipat ko dun sa mas malaki. Para yung lumabas na answer is positive siya. So, ang nangyari is pumunta sa kabila sa x. Kanina positive siya, ngayon naging negative na siya. Next is, syempre pagsasamahin natin yung mga constant natin. Which is 9 and negative 6. Si 9 mag-i-stay lang siya doon. Iniwan siya ni x. Pumunta sa kabila. And nang mangyari, si negative 6, lilipat sa kabila ng ibang bahay and naging positive siya. So, ano nangyari? Yun nga, di ba? Naglilipat-lipat ka. Parang ngayon sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. Kaya stay at home lang tayo pag pumunta ka sa ibang lugar. Baka sakali maging positive ka. Huwag naman sana. 4x minus x is equal to 9 plus 6. Ang ano nangyari is naging 3x is equal to 15. So, ang gagawin natin dito is kailangan ma-cancel yung numerical coefficient ng variable x natin. So, ayun na nga, 3x divided by 3 is equal to 15 divided by 3. Ang answer natin is, x is equal to 5. Ito yung palagi kong sinasabi sa mga estudyante ko. Paano mo malalaman kung tapos na? Tapos na yung equation natin. Malalaman mo lang yung halaga ni x kapag wala na siyang kasama. Si x wala na siyang kasama. So, ang halaga natin is 5. Ganun lang kasi yun. Ang ginawa natin kanila is, hinahanap natin yung value ng x. Kasi hindi pa natin malalaman kung gano'n ba kahaba si 
NT or yung base natin. Kailangan muna itong malaman kung ano ba yung halaga ni X. Next is, we will substitute the value of X para malaman na kung ano yung value ni NT. Substitution, where X is equal to 5. NT is equal to X plus 9. Given yan, kanina. So, we will substitute the value of X. Papalitan lang natin si X kung ano yung nakuha natin kanina, which is 5. So, 5 plus 9 is equal to 5. 14. Ang value daw ni NT, nakuha natin, which is 14. Paano natin malaman? O paano natin mag-check kung tama ba yung answer natin? ba? Diba? Si NT is 14. Dapat si OH, 7 yan. Kasi kalahati yung 14. Tingnan natin, isa-substitute natin yung value ni X dun sa OH naman natin. Substitution, where X is equal to 5. So, OH is equal to 2X minus 3. Again, ganyan yan. So, we'll substitute the value of X, which is 5. OH is equal to 2 times 5. 5, which is the value of x minus 3. Next step is OH is equal to 2 times 5, which is 10 minus 3, or bring down negative 3. So, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. OH is equal to 7. Ibig sabihin, nakuha natin yung tamang answer. Kasi, nakuha natin yung kalahate nung value ng baby, which is 14. Gets? Next. In triangle M, N, P, O, and H are the midpoints of M, A, and M, P respectively. So, same kung nangyari kanina. O, M is equal to 2X minus 4 and O, N is equal to 6X minus 16. Ang question natin is how long is O, M ba? Kaya ito yung hinahanap. Gano'n ba kahaba sa O, N? Katingin nyo, si O, M ba at si O, N is congruent sila or equal sila? Tignan natin. O, M and O, N are congruent or they are equal kasi yan ang ibig sabihin ng midline theorem. So, let's substitute yung given natin which are 2x minus 4 is equal to 6x minus 16. Inuulit ko, para maalaman natin kung sino yung ililipat natin, titignan muna natin kung sino yung mas malaking value dun sa may variable na x. 2x and 6x. Sino mas malaki? Siyempre, 6x. Nagawin natin, ililipat natin si 2x sa kapila. Naglipat yan, positive kanina, magiging negative, siyempre. Palit na tayo. Si negative 16, magpupunta dun sa negative 4. At negative siya, pag tinranspose natin, magiging positive. So, ito yung mangyayari. Ito na nga ang mangyayari. 16 minus 4, negative kanina naging positive, is equal to 6x. Same lang kasi hindi naman naglipat. Nag-stay lang yan. Minus 2x kasi nga. Si 2x kanina is positive, naging negative. So, kung i-equate natin, ang mangyayari is 12 is equal to 4x. Next, kasama pa sa x, kailangan natin mawala yung kasama niya. Parang malaman natin kung ano ba talaga yung value niya. So, we will divide both sides by the numerical coefficient which is 4. So, what nangyari niya is 12 divided by 4 is equal to 4x divided by 4. Magiging 3 is equal to x. Bakit magiging 3 is dinivide natin to and dito is makansin. So, what nangyari is 3 is equal to x or x is equal to 3. Same lang yung dalawa na yan. Kasi nasa atin tayo na nasa una yung variable. So, ang value ni x is equal to 3. Tapos na ba tayo? Hindi pa. Kasi ang hinahanap natin is OM ang ating hinahanap. So, let's substitute where x is equal to 3. Kaya yun ang uwa natin kanina. OM is equal to 2x minus 4. Given yan. So, substitute natin. OM is equal to 2 times the value of x which is 3 minus 4. Next is OM is equal to 6, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 4, so OM is equal to 2. Ang tanong ko sa inyo, what is the value of OM? Tama kayo, kasi ang OM at OM ay congruent lang. So, OM is also equivalent to 2. Tingnan natin, same process tayo, but this time, iba yung equation natin kasi iba yung given. So, OM is equal to 6x minus 16. Substitute natin yung value ng x which is 3. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. So, bring down 16 which is negative 16. 18 minus 16 is equal to 2. So, tama yung ginawa natin na equation. Ang value ni OM at ni OM is 2. Therefore, makukonclude natin na yung buong side na yun is equal to or yung MN is equal to 4. Kasi nga, 2 si OM, 2 si OM, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So, MN is equal to 4. In triangle MNT, O and H are the midpoints of M A and M T respectively. So, ang given natin is M N is congruent to M T. M N is congruent to M T. Kaya tayo tanda nyo. Kung wala nang kalagay na ganto sa given, asyo natin palagi na hindi congruent yung dalawa na yan. 
Kasi, dito, given lang siya na pang gruwin silang dalawa. Pero kung wala siya sinasabi na ganito, huwag niyong i-assume na pang gruwin sila. Tandaan niyo yan. OM is equal to 2Y minus 1 and HT is equal to Y plus 5. This time, yes, ginamit natin variable is si Y muna kasi masakit na. Puro X na lang eh. Puro X na lang. So, this time, Y naman tayo. Kahit anong variable naman, pwede gamitin. Nasa inyo lang yan. Pero madalas kasi nyo gagamit is X and Y. So, ang tanong natin talaga dito is how long are MN and MT? MN and MT. So, dahil si MN is congruent to MT, therefore, si OM is congruent din siya kay HT. So, si OM is equal siya kay HT. So, substitute natin yung given natin which are 2Y minus 1 is equal to Y plus 5. Next, sino inulipat natin? Si 2Y ba o si Y? Siyempre, yung mas maliit na value. So, si y, positive, nilipat natin, naging negative y, or nag-transpose tayo. Next, na-transpose din natin si negative 1, nilagay natin siya sa kamukha niyang constant, which is yung 5, negative 1, naging positive. So, kung i-equate natin yan, magiging y is equal to 6. So, the value of our y is equal to 6. So, nilipat tayo na cos. So, we will substitute where y is equal to 6, which is yung nakuha natin kanilang value. OM is equal to 2Y minus 1. Given yan. So, substitute natin yung value ng Y which is 6. So, 2 times 6 minus 1. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Minus 1 is equal to 11. So, the value of OM is equal to 11. So, dapat kung congruent si OM at si HT, ang mukuha natin kay HT dapat is 11 din. So, ang question talaga natin dito is how long are MN and MT? So, OM is equal to 11. OM is equal to 11. Ang hinahanap natin is si MN. Isn't it? Ang midpoint natin dyan is O. So, ibig sabihin, ang value ng MO is also the value of MO. So, ang mangyayari para mahanap yung buong side natin, MN is equal to 2 times the value of OM, which is 11. 2 times 11 is equal to 22. So, dahil congruent nga si MN at si MT, so, dapat ang mukuha natin kay MT is also 22. So, ang nakuha natin kanina is MN is equal to 22. At dahil sabi niya kanina, MN is congruent to MT, therefore, MT is also equal to 22. So, doon na matatapos yung discussion natin about the midline theorem. So, that's all for today, guys. Sana eh, marami ko yung natutunan sa mga diniscuss natin about the midline theorem. And alam ko na makakatulong ko sa inyo ng malaki para makapoke up sa mga topics na sa tingin nyo eh, hirap kayo. So, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe ka na. I-like mo na and click mo na rin yung notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong videos na i-upload ko. Basta tandaan nyo, walang bagay na mahirap. Pag gusto mo, maghirapan mo. God bless!